Using live triggers with Lightkey gives you incredible amounts of control from Ableton Live as if you were using Lightkey within the program itself. But I think the best way to use Lightkey and Ableton Live is to use them on separate computers. But if you're gonna do that, how are you gonna connect them and get them to talk? I just wrapped up my controlling Lightkey with Ableton Live course, and as a gift to you, I'm gonna share a full lesson from that course where I show you how to set up uh, and create a connection to where Ableton and Lightkey can talk together using network RTP MIDI. I'm gonna show you how to do this with two Macs because Lightkey is Mac only. Um, I'm just gonna show you this perspective from Macs. If you enjoyed this lesson, you can click the link in the description of this video uh, to get access to the full course. And if you're not ready for that yet, then but you like this content, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you see when I go live. Okay, let's get into this week's tutorial. Okay, so let's talk about how to connect our two machines. Uh, we are again going to do this with a couple pieces of gear. One is a network switch, um, and, and you're probably asking, but Will, what network switch we, should we use? Literally, I, I, I'm tempted to say almost any. I'm gonna just blanket say any network switch will work for this, right? Uh, this one in particular here, this net, ge uh, net gear switch is just like a cheap Best Buy thing, uh, maybe Amazon, but anything will work. And then a cable to connect your Ableton computer to the network switch and a cable to connect your light key computer to the network switch, okay? So we need uh, basically both computers connected to the same network. Now, do they need internet? Uh, no, they need to be on the same network. They need intranet, not internet, right? So um, uh, this could be connected to the internet as well. That means we could have like an additional cable that comes out of our switch to go to the internet, wherever you want to plug that in. Um, but prior, the, the main thing is that both of these computers need to be connected to the same network. Um, technically, I want to stress, technically, this could be done using wireless, using Wi-Fi, but do not do it. I have uh, seen Wi-Fi work really, really well and then suddenly stop working. Uh, because of the venue, because of the amount of people that were on the Wi-Fi router. Do not leave your show to chance. Hope is a bad uh, backup plan. So please, please, please um, use wired connection. And you're saying, but we'll use a wired connection. Uh, you can buy a 200 foot ethernet cable, make a 200 foot ethernet cable to run between these. That's gonna work very, very well. In fact, buy two of them for backup if you need to. That's gonna work really, really well and I would uh, Definitely do that before I'd ever use wireless. Okay, um, we're gonna walk through a few things here. So uh, first thing that we did uh, beforehand, just to, to make sure we're all clear on this, we've already moved our demo project over. And again, this is that demo project that I got from my light key computer, okay? Demo project is over on my main Ableton machine. Again, here's my Ableton machine. Over on this machine is where I have light key, okay? Um, uh, check out the previous lesson uh, to see how to get that that live triggers file over to your Ableton machine if you haven't yet. The way we're gonna connect this in this particular approach is using network MIDI. I'm gonna do this from a Mac to Mac perspective. Technically your Ableton machine could be a PC and you could connect to Mac. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna use RTP MIDI, um, uh, which is gonna function really similar to the built-in stuff on Mac that we're gonna use. Um, but this is a very simple process. If you've seen me set up a uh, network MIDI that's built into a Mac before, you can honestly skip over this section and just get to the configuring uh, both individual bits and both uh, setups. Uh, skip the initial setup of RTP MIDI on both machines because you know how to do this. Okay, let's let's get to it. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible. A lot of steps to do, but very, very simple. Let's start on our Ableton machine first, okay? So what we're going to do is uh, search for audio MIDI setup, okay, on our Mac. So I just do spotlight and I go to audio MIDI setup. Okay, so here is that. So we're gonna open this up. What you wanna do is go up to uh, the top here and you want to go to window and I'll show you, let's go right up here, window and we're going to click show MIDI studio. Okay, so that's gonna open up our MIDI studio. What I would then suggest, the easiest way to find this is to go to the MIDI studio menu item here, MIDI studio menu item and go to uh, open MIDI network setup, okay? So this looks different at, depending on what OS you're on, what version of, um, of Mac OS you're on. So just follow the steps, it'll be exactly the same. So now we need to do a couple different things to uh, to make this happen. Uh, first, we're gonna go to this plus sign right here to create a session, okay? And you see that pop up. Next, we wanna go to local name. This is how this is gonna show up on our computer, okay? So uh, what do we want the name of this to be? Um, this is going to be to light key because that's where we're sending it, okay? 
Uh, and then bonjour name will be from Ableton. You could also just call this Ableton, whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, now, once those are both typed in, I'm just going to click out of here to kind of lock that in and save it. All right. Next up, very, very important. Under who may connect to me, we're going to change this from only computers in my network to anyone. Okay. Uh, final step, we're going to click right here in this two light key box. Now, also very important step. Do not touch live routings. Do absolutely nothing with it. And this is going to work fabulous, fabulously. That's a hard word to say. This is going to work fabulous. Fabu I'm going to stop trying to say the word. You know what I'm saying? It's going to work really well as long as you do that. Okay. So what we end up with now on our Ableton machine, we've created a MIDI network session um, that is uh, called uh, show, going to show up on our computer called two light key, and it's going to show up on the network uh, as from Ableton. Now, while we're on this computer, let's go ahead and make the, the settings we need to make uh, happen in Ableton. Uh, as you probably guessed, preferences, command comma, control comma, if we're on a PC, uh, we want to go to the link tempo MIDI tab. Thankfully, we're already here. We're only looking at one thing in this case. We're looking for uh, the output side of our network connection. You see the name of it right there, to light key. And we need to make sure that track is enabled. And if we're going to do any sort of tempo sync to send our tempo to light key, we want to enable sync right there. Okay. So now that that's set up, uh, while we're here on our Ableton machine, let's just do this really quick. Let's drag in some files. So we'll go to our demo project. And uh, we're just going to add in a few different files here into our set. So let's start with beautiful. Um, and we'll just have it basically go between these three different pages and, and just launch some some different cues. Okay, so we've we've done this before, so I'm just going to move quick. Uh, I'll stay zoomed out so you can see this. We'll drop our page in. Okay, so select page for beautiful. Uh, let's drag that in. Come on, there we go. All right, so there's that one, and then we'll just have it crank out a couple cues. So we're basically going to have a page, um, a track for our pages, and we'll have a track for our cues. We'll drop uh, a couple back to back in there. Okay. Uh, and then just for the sake of time uh, to crank through this really quickly so we're not waiting, we're going to have it go to our new song song right on this page. And then we'll have it go to our closing song song page right here. OK. And then just to show that it's actually happening, let's just like cycle through these these three, I say, a couple times here. OK, so um, we'll nudge these back over. So I'm just going to build out this file just as like a little test file. I guess technically I could use that file that we were using before that we formatted for our song, but this is going to work for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this extra content. Uh, very importantly, we're going to route our MIDI for both of these. So we already know what to do here. We're going to go network to light key. All right. If you don't see this show up here, go to configure and then go back to your MIDI preferences and follow the previous step that you skipped over because you're not paying attention. So make sure you pay attention uh, and make sure you enable uh, the track on the output of your network. OK, Ableton set up. Ableton's looking good. Uh, we've got our, our MIDI uh, network set up. Let's go to our B machine now. Uh, really quickly, we're going to crank through this. We're going to do the same thing. Audio MIDI setup. OK, it's going to look exactly the same. Uh, you already see uh, on here from Ableton, I already see that popping up, which is great. Uh, so let's go up to our window here. Uh, we're going to show MIDI Studio just so you can follow along. OK, I'm sorry, I don't have my little uh, highlighter on this machine. We'll get that updated before the next lesson, next course rather. Uh, MIDI Studio, we're going to do open MIDI network setup. OK, uh, now we've got this window up exactly the same. We're going to create our session. 